weekend for the fourth. How many of you had a long weekend? Uh, we did hear it sometimes, Scott, even though Kate and I worked and Max worked about half a day on Friday. But it was super fun. I hope you guys got some relaxation and made some amazing memories with your family. So today we're going to talk about 29 strategies to add business to your business, increasing profits without taking on any additional debt, hiring more employees, or taking on additional partners. So number one, work your current list of customers or a past list of customers. Here's the amazing thing about sometimes spouse. About um, 10 of you have a substantial business and you've been doing it for a couple of years. Use those customers that you've currently got or past customers. Have you touched base with your customers that you did services with a couple of years ago? Utilize that list. That list is powerful, so you have to utilize it. One person in Houston, I know he was sending out over 14,000 emails last week. Um, to a customer list from a previous business. So if you've been in a previous business, send out an email that now you're in sometimes spouse. So utilize those current customers or those past customers. It is much cheaper to keep the customers you already have than to acquire a new customer. So keep that in mind. Number two is to follow up. After doing a mailing list, a mail an email, shooting a text, a Facebook message, texting past customer list, um, or calling your past customer list, um, follow up with them. So if you send an email, follow it up with a phone call in a few days to make sure they got the email and see if there's any services that they really need. So follow up with them. Don't just send it to them once. The average customer has to hear from you 16 times. 16 times over and over and over again because the marketplace is so flooded nowadays. So, and if they don't pick up on that phone call, then follow it up with a text in a few days. And if that, then start the cycle again. You can email your customers, you could do direct mail to your customers, you could call them, you could text them, you could Facebook message them. Um, there's lots of different ways and you have to keep dripping with your customers. That's why they call it a drip campaign so that you can keep in touch with them because anything that comes to their house, you want to make sure any kind of household services, you want to make sure that sometimes spouse is their first call. So number one is to work your customer list. Number two is to follow up. How can you follow up again? You email usually the current list or the past list. You can follow up with a phone call. Um, you can follow up with a text message. You can call, follow up with a Facebook message. And then you can also follow up again with an email. And then you start the cycle all over again. That's how sometimes spouse um, Waco has done so well over the years is we keep an amazing contact with our customers. Number three is use risk reversal. By using risk reversal, it can um, overcome a customer's fear or reluctance and take action by offering a guarantee of their purchase. I reverse the risk of buying, you'll get a lot more business. So with sometimes spouse in Waco, we have on our, our website and our Facebook page and any kind of communication that we have a satisfaction guarantee. I spelled that wrong, I know I did. Um, a satisfaction guarantee. So no matter what, our customer's gonna be 100% satisfied. So if our cleaning girls miss a ceiling fan, we'll send them back out within 24 hours. If our handyman um, miss painting the side of a door, one side of the door, we send them back out within 24 hours, we give 100% satisfaction guarantee. I recommend that you guys do the same exact thing. A hundred, that doesn't mean we refund their money. That means that whatever little tweak that we need to make, we'll make it, we'll take care of it. We make it right no matter what. Number four is bump and upsell. You have a customer that needs um, some moving done at their house. You go over, you move, you pack up their items and you, Put them in the truck to move it. 
You can then bump them or try to upsell them a deep cleaning for the cleaning side. If you are going into a home doing an estimate and they just want a couple of dry hall, drywall cracks fixed, you go in there and you can bump that by saying, do you know that we also do painting and upsell them? So your current customers that you're working with, you can bump and upsell them. So a lot of them call for handyman or cleaning services. The great thing is you can bump and upsell the other service, whatever it may be. And number five we're talking about today, sell and sell again. If you have a customer that's calling in to get a deep clean or a move in, move out clean, you can sell them that clean and then sell them on the sometimes home plan. So you can sell them once and then sell them again. And then you're always selling them with the sometimes home plan. They get the home plan and they're getting a weekly clean and it's 69 to $99. You're in their house every week. So if you see something in the home, they need handyman services. You can tell them about our other services and sell them and sell them again. You always want to offer for them to purchase something else. All you have to say is, did you know we have weekly home cleaning also? We can take care of your new home. Or we can come in here and do this every week. Our prices begin at $69. Most people don't know that our prices begin at such an inexpensive price. So you sell them and you sell them over and over and over again. If you're in a house and you're painting a door and it's an elderly lady, you can say, did you know that we do home services monthly? that we've got a sometimes spouse home services plan, home maintenance plan. Sorry, had a brain fart right there. Um, so you can sell them and sell them over and over again because that residual income that's built into our business model with the handyman services is much more than that one time sell. So number one is work your current cl client list or your past list. Number two is to follow up. Number three is to use risk reversal, that satisfaction guarantee. Number four is to bump and upsell. And number five is to sell and sell again. These are five of the ways that you can add revenue to your business without taking on additional debt, without having more employees, and without taking on additional partners. So that being said, that was five of the 29 ways. We'll go through all 29 this week. But definitely start working on these five today. You guys make more money.